Next up, fight number nine of 14, 135 pounders, from the El Nino Training Center, Ty Costa. His opponent, Christian Espinosa. Espinosa, uh, just an explosive uh, stand-up fighter. Uh, no, don't get me wrong, Costa is a great stand-up fighter as well, but um, I mean, if you want to win the fight, to me, I think you should take your opponent out of his um, element in order to have a better chance of defeating him. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, absolutely, Juicy. If I'm Ty Costa, I want to go for that takedown. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Absolutely. these fighters weigh 135 pounds each. Both of these fighters have professional records of three wins and three losses. In the blue corner, 30 years old, fights for the El Nino Training Center out of San Francisco, California. He is Ty the Terminator Costa. In the red corner, fighting for the Asylum Fight Team out of Vallejo, California. He's 27 years old. Christian, the silent assassin, Espinosa. Referee in charge of this fight is once again David Shirley. Ty Costa and Brandon Olson. We are all set to go for our first of a possible three rounds in the bantamweight division. They touch gloves as 30-year-old Costa takes on 22-year-old Olsen. Uh, that's Espinoza. Christian Espinoza. Espinoza. Ooh, fireworks in the first round already. Nice overhand right lands. It looks like these fighters do not want to go the distance. Looking to end it quick, Costa with the single. Yeah, it looks like Costa's game plan is to get this fight to the ground, and that was a very nice finish. Good use of misdirection there yeah, to finish that single leg. But now he's not in the best position. It looks like Espinosa could be in a position to take his back here. Uh, I mean, it's just a smart decision. Uh, why stand through all that, uh, you know, those, those punches, and when you can just get the, get the fight on the ground, take Avoid Espinosa out of his elements. Absolutely. Exactly, and, and beat him that way. But you know what? It looks like Espinosa's jiu-jitsu is no joke either. Yeah, we might not have accounted for Espinosa's jiu-jitsu, though. <laughs> Looking to maybe frame up an arm bar. Once again, this bantamweight bout is brought to you by the official streaming service of the Dragon House Cage. That's Bright Path Video. For more information for all your streaming needs, call 415-250-6520 or go online to brightpathvideo.com. Oh, that's an inverted triangle there. Very rare technique. We really don't get to see that a lot. But Ty Costa did a nice job of uh, escaping it. Now he's looking to rain down some blows on Espinosa. Both fighters back to their feet. Looking to set up a choke. Now a small cut opened up on the face of Christian Espinosa. So far, Ty Costa doing a really nice job of controlling this fight. Costa's attempting a takedown, but Espinosa has that wizard locked in. It's going to be really hard to finish and uh, particularly go behind as long as that the right arm of Espinosa is overhooked on Costa's. Yeah, Espinosa doing a very good job defending. Costa might want to switch up and maybe go for a single. And it looks like, looks like the single is right there. Or maybe it's that overhook uh, by Espinosa that's preventing that. Well, Costa looking to lift him off. Oh, he's got feet. that single. Nicely executed. Yeah, that was a very nicely executed takedown. But Espinosa's doing a really nice job of getting right back up to his feet here. But now he has no legs to stand on. Uh, Costa pulls him back down. 
Very nice grappling on display, particularly wrestling by Ty Costa. And Espinosa right back to his feet. Now, if I'm Espinosa right now, I want to be looking for those underhooks. I want to get out of this clinch. I want to stand back up. Definitely. Nice knees landed by Ty Costa. Gets the takedown, but ends up on the bottom this time. Espinosa on the top. Espinosa looking to work. But Ty Costa looking to work from half guard here. And he just might get out of danger. A couple of elbows lands to the head of Costa there. Ty Costa relentless in his takedown offense, but keep in mind, trying to take your opponent down for uh, almost three minutes now, that's going to tire out your grip and your forearms. And Definitely. he needs to be conscious of uh, all, all the energy that he's using up because he needs it in the later rounds of this fight. Yeah, still got two more rounds to go. We'll see what fatigue plays a, plays a part in this fight. Costa has the takedown, and he was in half guard, but he wasn't really doing anything with it. Right. If you're on top and you're in such a good position, look, the guard's open. Ty Costa's in a great position. He needs the posture up if he wants to rain down blows like that. Absolutely. Looks like he's just content to deliver the ground and pound, though, not really looking to pass, not really looking to submit. Right. That's doing the right thing, though, uh, keeping his opponent close, not, allow not allowing him to posture up and deliver that. Uh, yeah, notice how Espinosa has the legs locked up of Ty Costa. That's making it impossible for Costa to posture up. So far, though, I believe Costa is definitely winning this round. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely getting the better of the grappling exchange. Ty Costa denying his opponent the chance to do anything. Espinosa works his way back to half guard. And there are now 10 seconds remaining in round number one of a possible three five-minute rounds. Espinosa looking for some strikes on the bottom. And round number one comes to a close. So far, a very good evening matchup between uh, these two uh, Phantom Wave fighters. Uh, like I said, I believe Ty Costa did get the best of that round, though. Uh, got the got the majority take, got the takedowns that round and was able to stay on top in the, in the dominant position. Number two is officially underway. Ty Costa, Christian Espinosa. And Costa just misses with that head kick. Another Costa, huge leg kick from Costa. Costa had a lot of success during that first round with the takedowns. Let's see if he sticks to the same game plan or tries to change it up. We just saw a standing hammer fist attempted by Espinosa. Never seen that. Was before. that what that was? That was awesome. Another oh. takedown attempted by Espinosa. Now Espinosa looking for a guillotine here. I mean, the, the game plan worked the first time, the first round, so why not stick to it? That guillotine getting tighter by the second. Ty Costa needs to tuck in his chin. Oh, he just exposed his neck a little bit more. He doesn't look too worried about it. Maybe uh, it's not deep oh, enough. he lost it. Costa Out. looking for that, for that double back to the single. Espinosa doing a nice job of cross-facing. That puts an enormous amount of pressure on the head and neck of the offensive wrestler. Back down to the mat goes uh, Espinosa. Costa nearly gives up his back. And now it's Costa who's not in the best position here. He's taking a lot of elbows to the head. If he's not defending himself, the referee David Shirley could very well stop this fight if Costa takes too many of those elbows. There's another. And another. Costa needs to figure out a way how to posture up here. Yeah, even though Costa's been on top for most of this fight, he's still taking a fair amount of damage from his opponent. Looks like Espinosa's very comfortable when he's on bottom. Yeah. Looking to get back up to his feet, maybe. Another elbow to the head, and another. Yeah, we knew Ty Costa had that great wrestling background, and uh, definitely putting on display here at Dragon House 29. Now, if Espinosa can isolate that arm, which he does not do, he's definitely like a, in position to reverse his opponent. Yeah. Uh, 
Now Ty Costa looking to secure that full mount. He's currently in half guard. Uh, this is a pretty bad position for uh, Espinosa to be in this early in the round. Uh, but he's got back into that half guard, which is a good thing here. Three minutes remain in round number two. It's a lot easier to work from the half than it is that full mount. But Costa just relent relentless with his grappling here. Staying tight, no holes. Elbows of his own from Costa. Espinosa might need to get back to full to, uh, full guard, and uh, that that way better chances a uh, possibility of uh, submissions. I saw him pull a damn near pull a um, armbar earlier. So we know he's got some uh, jujitsu uh, jujitsu talent. Ooh. Looking for a key lock. Let's it go. Referee David Shirley looking to stand the fight back to his feet. Yeah, that was a good call by referee David Shirley. There was not a whole lot happening. There were a few small shots being dropped, but uh, David Shirley definitely did the right thing standing this fight up. Now, this is where Espinosa is good at, on his feet, uh, delivering uh, his strikes, but he has to be careful of the takedowns when he's swinging. Because that's how he's been getting taken down. He swings, uh, Costa ducks, grabs a leg, and down he goes. Nice left hand. Just misses with that overhand. Opens up a cut on the right eyebrow of Ty Costa. Ty Costa now bleeding profusely out of his right eye. And back to the same position you were in, in the earlier of last round. Oh, that's a deep cut on Ty Costa. Yeah, he's definitely leaking. I wouldn't be surprised if the referee stops this fight briefly for the doctor to take a look at Costa. Once again, he's got a hold of that single. Now what Christian Espinoza needs to do here, attack that cut. Those elbows should be targeted at the right eyebrow of Costa. And he's doing just that. Costa relentless with the takedown. Another takedown. Very beautifully executed. Now Ty Costa's wrestling is no joke, particularly that far side single leg. Definitely. Now we were wondering if fatigue was gonna play a, a, a role in this fight due Doesn't to all the wrestling. Like but so now, far, about, Costa's good. How about all that blood here in the last 10 seconds of round number two? Yeah, let's hope it, let's hope it doesn't affect uh, the rest of this fight. Uh, it would be a shame to lose because of a technicality like that. Round number two comes to a bloody close. So far, I've got the fight uh, two rounds to none in favor of El Nino's Ty Costa. Uh, it's, it's been the wrestling so far. The wrestling has been the dominance. Ty Costa has uh, dominated as far as the wrestling and grappling goes, and uh, so far, Espinosa has no answer for that. So uh, if Espinosa wants to win this fight, he's gonna have to come out in the third, third round and either knock Ty Costa out or submit him somehow, some way. Okay, it looks like the earlobe. We're sitting up really close. I don't know how well uh, those of you watching online can see. It appears that the earlobe of Christian Espinoza has completely detached from his ear. Looks like he's gonna need some stitches for that. Looks like Ty Costa might need some stitches of his own though. <laughs> what a bloody matchup that was. What yeah, this fight will come to a bloody end, but I'll tell you what, Tusi. What a fight between yeah. Ty Costa and Christian Espinoza. Two of the Bay Area's finest bantam weights. We knew it would be. Uh, both of these fighters came out, put it all on the line. Uh, Ty Costa ended up with the victory uh, due to a, stop, a referee stoppage. But uh, Costa was winning the fight, though, before that. So um, either way it goes, congratulations, uh, Ty Costa. Hats off to both fighters. Uh, Christian Espinosa did a great job tonight. Both of these fighters are going to go far in their career. Can't wait to see them at their next fight. Could not agree more, Juicy. And five minutes into the second round, via medical stoppage due to an ear laceration, the winner in the blue corner, Ty the Terminator Costa. Ty Costa will be your winner officially due to doctor stoppage. Espinoza. And it turns out I was right. What are we doing? Yeah. The earlobe of Ty Ka of, uh, of Espinoza was completely. What are we doing? The doctors are here to keep people Espinoza's safe. Fight. <laughs>
And what? you know what? And ear laceration down to the cartilage. You want those corner look, looked a little disappointed. They kind of gave Ty Costa's eye a look. Let's hear from Did these you see fighters. that? He gave Ty Costa's eye a look and said, well, you stopped the fight because of the ear, but what about his eye type of look? <laughs> Looks like Ty Costa wants the microphone. He's got something to say. Yeah, so uh, Christian's a warrior. And I, I know me personally and Christian and, and all you guys didn't want to see it in that way. So sorry about that. Not the fighter's fault. Thanks to all my sponsors and, and my teammates. And I want to dedicate this win to my grandmother, Josephina, who's not with us now. Thank you.